Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. And today is Wednesday, so we're having a supply day or a supply restock in my shop. I only have a couple of artists, or a couple of items, but I have a couple artists who are helping me out this week. So you will be introduced to Rosa, our new supplier. And then Vicki has some items as well as Sherry. So I think we're all going to have a wonderful time of inspiration. And if you wish to purchase any of the items you see here, the link is in the description box below. You can find them in Marketplace Supplies. So I'm going to start off with these two wallpaper packs. And uh, these are actually in Lindsay's supplies because I put them together. There is Vacay in Bali. And we have nine six by 17. So these are quickly what they look like. There's hints of teal in here, some really pretty blue and teal. And I don't know how well that's showing up on camera. And then Soft Paradise, a little bigger, 8 by 17, seven pieces, and um, very similar to the other one, but some gorgeous big flourishes there. So I only have two, but it's, it's a start, it's something. And then I have, I told you I'd have these ready for you. In the last video, these are Butterfly and Moth Fussy Cut Outs, and they were from a book, and I cut them all out. So there's moths and butterflies, and they're beautiful. Just look at how pretty they are. So you get the whole pack. I'm not sure how many. I want to say there's around 50, but I will put the exact number in the listing description. And the last thing from me is this little set of mini envelopes, little bird themed. I believe that the birds are from Graphics Fairy, but they're wallpaper, wallpaper mini envelopes. And then there's um, an image mounted on wallpaper and a Tim Holtz word. So there's Imagine, Together, Live, Peace, and Laugh. So there's that set of little five bird and wallpaper mini envelopes. Okay, we're going to get into Vicky's items, and I think you're going to love uh, what she sent. She does a lot of resin work. Look at this gorgeous journal cover. Now, you could use it, mixed media book cover. You could use it, um, you would glue it to the front of a journal. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, she's like in a little room. But of course, you could use it as home decor. It could, uh, you could put it on a little stand. You could put it on a, like a box. You know, if you buy a box and they could put it on the top to flip open, you could put it on the wall. Um, there's so many things that you can do with it. And the detail is incredible. Just look. Gorgeous. So there's that. And then this, I have this item and she's de-stashing it. This is the planner punch board. It's going to come in this little case. So it is nice to be able to store it there. Um, uh, this is the We Are Memory Keepers. On the back, it gives you the directions and where to place the little hole punches. And these are for, um, this might be for the happy, are these for the happy planner? Could probably use them for, whoop. Oh, there's different kinds. There's the, I think this is the happy planner punch and then the circle punch. I just have the circle ones myself, but it tells you where to place them. So if you have, you know, a, an A5, a three ring album of different kinds of folios, a Heidi swap, it tells you where to place them so that when you punch the papers, they're in the right places. But what I used this for mostly, and I forgot I had it until I saw this, is making punches in paper to do like a junk journal three ring uh, folio or papers or something like that. So I use it for more of a junk journal um, most of the time. I think I have used it for a planner before, but it is a wonderful tool to have on hand. So you get your holes punched exactly where you want them to be. So the We Are Memory Keepers planner punch board and a nice little case. So that's a fun little de stash there. And then we have some uh, dies from Vicki. This is Crafter's Companion. I think it's a bow. Yes, festive bow. So here we go. And it's the large, large bow. You get the dies there. 
And this one is the Bluebell Trellis Handbag Die. So it makes a paper handbag. So that's perfect for like a gift bag. If you're, and if you're giving maybe journal supplies, it would be great to stick a junk journal and some pens and other things in there as well. So these two will come together and then this set will come together. These are heartfelt creations and they are layered. This one is a layered card. This is what's in it. They're not dies. They're actually paper. I didn't open. I think there might be an open one so we can see the thickness. Here we go. So you can use it as a template or you can um, draw on it, mixed media, cover it or whatever. So we have layered card, shadow boxes, uh, shadow boxes white, shadow boxes, oh wait, this is oval card black, shadow box white, shadow box black, shadow box craft, layered ovals white, layered ovals craft, layered circles white, layered circles black, layered circles craft, shadow box craft, layered ovals craft, layered circles craft. So you'll get that whole set. That could be great for templates or just for creating for your projects. Um, Vicki also created this. Now this is actually a piece of artwork that you can hang on the wall. It's a canvas. You could put it on the top of a box or a big journal, but it does have a little bit of dimension to it, maybe a half inch, three quarter inch. Um, but I think that these would be really great in a craft room or this could be in a boy's room. It is a fantasy dragon and you have like event, there's a 3d effect. It is absolutely beautiful. So I have that. She did a steampunk one I sold for her a while back. And then this is also from Vicky, and I think it's an ephemera folder. Let's take a peek. All right. Here we go. You can see here it is expandable. This is fabric here. Yes, expandable, refillable, large ephemera book. So you have... And she's put a couple things in here just to show you, like there's some fabric. There's lots of pockets and tucks that you can use to store your supplies. This is great for organizing your supplies or traveling where you need to bring a bunch of different items to work with, but you want it all contained. She's put quite a bit, there's playing cards, envelopes, she even made the little booklet, lots of different bags with fabric and trim in it. All right, these are just fabric. Maybe there's some trim. There's little, little booklets and little things that you can tuck. And then some vintage book pages, some ledger pages, some braille pages that has a magnet closure. So this is really perfect for traveling or just for organizing in your craft space. It's nice to have a big one sometimes. So you could put um, everything from maybe a single theme. Oh, we lost the key. Let's put that back on there. So there's that. Oh, got a piece of tape stuck to my desk. And then there is this one that she did. We have a three ring. A beautiful, it looks like a laminated dried leaf here. Some really pretty stitching. And this is a pressed flower storage book. And she has, look at all of these pressed laminated flowers that you can use in your journal. There's a ton. Oh, wow. So we have a tuck and look at all of these pressed and laminated, even some giant ones. Some of these you can, 
some of them I think just have plastic on it you could probably pull off if you wanted or some of them might be laminated they're pressed flowers just lots of different ways you can use them look at all of the different ones she has here so beautiful I mean there's a ton some bigger ones here and then you can either use this to store pressed flowers or you could after you've used the flowers if you want to just store papers and ephemera you could as well different leaves you can use them as bookmarks you can cut them out and put them in journals there's a whole ton in this pocket here too a ton beautiful laminated or pressed flowers a whole bunch all different all different kinds that is really neat and here's an example of how you can use them she put one there on the front gorgeous I know somebody's going to adore this these are, would not be easy to find I've never seen anything like this honestly so gorgeous so that is everything from Vicki let's move on to Rosa she is our newest supplier um, she has done marketplace journals for us but she is temporarily taking Barb's place while Barb is out of the state for a few months I don't know when she's coming back but she's taking some time off so Rosa is taking her place for the time being and um, she'll be with us probably at least a few months and we'll see from there four tags two tags with lace ribbon faux pearls two tags with lace ribbon and gem stickers oh wow they're even in individual baggies which that's great but I'm not gonna be able to photograph them that way so I'm just gonna pull them out here and put them in one bag that way we can see them better look at how pretty they are those would be even pretty as a tag on the front of a journal. So gorgeous. They're stitched. Put those together in there. Okay. I haven't opened all these bags yet, so I'm excited to see. Tags and textile packs. Two, okay. There are four packs. They each contain two rectangle tags, two circle tags with bulb pins and heart charm, two gold buttons, two pieces of vintage lace, and one wide ribbon with lace and three textile pieces. Okay, so I'm just going to show one. Look at how pretty. Tag. You've got the textiles and the laces. These are perfect for cutting bits off, using them in your journal. There's your buttons just a sweet little set and there are four available quantity four they're very very similar so you'll just get one okay so there's four packs there keep those together in the big pack that way i can find them when i'm filling orders so that's the tags and textile pack from rosa and this one is Crafter's Bundle. Okay. Cotton fabric, cream with floral pattern. That must be this right here. There is a paper pack of six folded eight by eight pages. There's assorted ribbons and lace. See those there? A pink silk ribbon. There's 20 assorted buttons, 10 fabric and paper flowers. They all coordinate too. And then the little hand company gem stickers pack. So these would all go together. You can cover your journal and then you have things to put inside it or you could just add it to your stash. All right, let's see what this is. Tag set, secret pocket tags. There are 10 Let's see if I can get into it. Wow. 
wow, that tape doesn't want to let me in. There we go. Let me see what it says here. Paper with pearls or gems pulls out, attaches with a gold paper clip, vintage music sheet tags with pocket sewn edges. Okay. So you get this here. You have a little that pulls out there. Let me see. What is that? Oh, I see. Oh, I really like that because she gives you the gold paper clip and you can clip it right onto the page if you want to. So you get one of those and one of these. Let's see if that secret pocket tag, vintage sheet music tag. Look how pretty that is. And you can clip that right on with that clip. That's nice that you get a really pretty clip to go with it. So there are 10 similar sets. They're very similar. It's nice. You can just get something small for a good price point. If you collect different ephemera from different artists and you want to get something from Rosa, but you can't really buy a huge set. As you can see they're all made very similar. You'll just get a random one. But if you offer, if you order multiples, you will get multiples. Beautiful, beautiful Rosa. Excited to have you on board. Thank you for what you sent. So that is what Rosa sent. And then our sweet Sherry has sent a restock and I'm excited to see what she sent. Sherry Sawyer. This is a, these are fabric envelopes lined with book pages, lightly embellished with lace trim. They are four by five and a half inches and there are Five of them. Oh wow. And she even put a journal card right inside there. I love that the fabric with the um, lined with a book page there. Let's see, I'll sing a dream song. And then there's five of them Song of the Vagabonds. So pretty. These are gorgeous, Sherry. Love is a many splendored thing. Beautiful. So that is a set of five fabric envelopes and it comes in a little organza bag. So of course you can reuse that. The Great Outdoors Vintage Journaling Cards, 15 pieces from a 1956 look and learn book backed with cardstock stitched with eyelets. All right, so we have a little glassine bag covered with paper a little pocket with a tag then the bag opens and we have our journaling cards oh, so cute so these are from a 1950s book and they're the great outdoors so you have 15 of them and they're backed with scrapbook papers that you could journal on or put something cute on the back or just have something pretty on the back of course you can reuse this glassine bag this would be adorable in a nostalgic journal so that's the great outdoors. We have, oh, more fabric envelopes. Good. So we have two sets of fabric envelopes. That's awesome. We have two or three sets of vintage sewing patterns, mostly from the 1970s. And I'll do lot one, two, and three. That way you can pick the set that you want, or like she has here, lots A, B, and C. That'll be easier for me. Um, four butterfly glassine bags with three tags each. Okay. Ooh, wow, look at how gorgeous. In each little bag, so there's four bags, okay, four butterfly bags. Each bag has three tags. Sherry, those are gorgeous. Just look at that. So 16 pieces total. 
And of course you have the bag that they come in that you can reuse. We like to do that when we can. All right, and then last but not least, cross-stitched blocks. 17 by 17 inch squares. And there are three pieces in each one. There's A and B. See how gorgeous that is. Beautiful. All right. Wow. I've been inspired for sure. I'm going to go work on a journal now. I'm, I started one and I'm going to work on it and see which way it goes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll take a second to subscribe if you have not. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all next time with more inspiration.